Hello, welcome to Daily News from Ajayat TV. Daily scientific meetings of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in holy city of Qom, Iran. The residence of His Eminence Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hussein Shirazi, a respected religious authority, hosted another enlightening scholarly session in the holy city of Qom, attended by numerous scholars, religious figures, and students of Islamic seminaries. This meeting dealt into various topics pertaining to Islamic ethics, Islamic jurisprudence, Islamic history, etc. In a recent session, a participant posed a question to the esteemed authority asking whether it is permissible to substitute missed prayers during the night prayer time and instead of the night prayer. In response, the esteemed religious authority conveyed that based on evidence, it is permissible to perform missed prayers during the night prayer time. However, one must make the intention for the missed prayer and comprehend the merits of the night prayer. The guidance is supported by a noble tradition, where Imam Reza, peace be upon him, would substitute four units of night prayer with the prayer of Jafar Tayyar, as narrated in the sacred hadith. The esteemed viewers of Marjaya TV can watch these sessions live and directly on this TV network, a collection of other TV channels and also on the Al Shirazi app and TV boxes, simultaneously with these sessions at 11 a.m. Qom local time. Iraqi pilgrimage caravans visit residents of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Qom, Iran. In the holy city of Qom on Thursday, 15th of Jumadi al-Ula, 1445 AH, 30th of November 2023, the eminent Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hussein Shirazi hosted three pilgrimage caravans from Iraq. On this day, the pilgrimage caravans of Sadiqa Tutayra from the cities of Qud and Baghdad, along with the pilgrimage caravan of Haider Abadi from the city of Samawa, gathered at the residence of the religious authority. Following the commemoration ceremonies and a meeting with the Grand Ayatollah, they benefited from the statements of Sayyid Jafar Shirazi, the distinguished son of the revered authority. Fatimi Memorials at House of Sayyid Ahmad Shirazi in Kuwait the third morning ceremony commemorating the martyrdom of Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, took place at the residence of Sayyid Ahmad Shirazi, the son of the esteemed religious authority Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Kuwait. The event, attended by dozens of religious, cultural and social figures, as well as the general believers of Kuwait, was held on the night of Thursday, 14th of Jamadi al-Ula of this year. Shia Society's Association welcomes Iraqi pilgrimage caravans in Holy Qom, Iran. The Shia Society's Association, affiliated with Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, warmly welcomed the pilgrimage caravans of Ansar al Hujja and Siddiqa to Taira. These caravans had entered the holy city of Qom from Iraq. Comprising believers from Najaf and Qud, they embarked on a pilgrimage journey to the sacred city of Qom to pay homage to the revered shrine of Hazrat Fatima Masume, peace be upon her, and later continued their pilgrimage to Mashad al Reza, peace be upon him. Members of the Shia Society's Association also participated in the funeral procession of the late Talib al aqili a member of the Anwar al muhammadiyya procession from the city of Musayyib in Iraq. He tragically lost his life in a traffic incident on the route to the holy city of Qom and was laid to rest in the sacred city. Zainabiyah Seminary commemorates Lady Fatima peace be upon her in Damascus, Syria. The women's section of the Zainabiyah Seminary, affiliated with the religious authority in the city of Damascus, Syria, commemorated the martyrdom of Hazrat Fatima Zahra peace be upon her through a series of morning ceremonies. The program included the recitation of the Holy Quran, religious speeches, morning rituals, and a special performance depicting the martyrdom of Hazrat Fatima Zahra peace be upon her. Hundreds of women participated in this event, engaging in morning rituals to honor the memory of Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her. Fatimi Memorials at Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Karbala, Iraq. The Office of the esteemed Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Saleh Hussein Shirazi in Karbala, Iraq, conducted its second Fatimi morning ceremony on Thursday, 14th of Jumadi al-Ula, 1445. This event witnessed the participation of numerous religious, cultural, and social figures, along with the general mourners of Lady Fatima. The ceremony included a lecture delivered by Sheikh Nasr al Hayri. Fatimi Memorials at Office of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Holy Najaf, Iraq. The Office of the Esteemed Religious Authority, Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the Holy City of Najaf, Iraq, witnessed the organization of his second special morning ceremony for the days of the martyrdom of Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her. This event saw the attendance of numerous religious and scholarly figures, as well as a multitude of believers and mourners of Hazrat Fatima Zahra. The participants engaged in mourning rituals and reflected on the hardships endured by Lady Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her. PR Officer of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi meets religious political figures in Holy Karbala, Iraq. 
During the past few days, Sayyid Arif Nasrullah, the director of the PR office of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi, hosted a gathering of religious and cultural activists, as well as some electoral candidates in Iraq. In this regard, he welcomed Sheikh Imad al-Lami, a member of the PR office of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Najaf, and Sheikh Mohammed al-Kashmiri, the director of Safinatul Imam al Hussein Center. During this meeting, Sayyid Arif Nasrullah emphasized the necessity of formulating guidelines for cooperation among institutions affiliated with the religious authority. Ms. Zahra Zia al Toma, one of the candidates in the upcoming Iraqi elections, was also a guest at the PR office of the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi. In this meeting, Nasrullah highlighted the sacredness law of Kabbalah, considering it a popular demand that cannot be overlooked. He stressed the importance of legal measures to preserve the sanctity of the holy city of Kabbalah and the holy shrine of Imam Hussein and Hazrat Abbas, peace be upon them, and to ensure that it is not violated by certain individuals. Ms. Ali Tome expressed her positive interaction with this initiative and pledged to work hard for the approval of such a law, which preserves the historical and spiritual significance of Kabbalah and reflects its true cultural identity. Commemorations of Lady Fatima Peace be upon her in Fav district of Basra province, Iraq. A group of organizations affiliated with the religious authority in the city of Fav Basra province commemorated the martyrdom anniversary of Hazrat Fatima Zahra, the revered and martyred lady. On this occasion, they organized a mourning procession on the streets of the city. Hundreds of faithful mourners participated in this procession, engaging in collective mourning alongside eulogists who commemorated the tragic events of this day associated with the Ahlul Bayt peace be upon them. <laughs> 